Good morning, Year 2, and welcome to today's reading lesson. So, we are going to finish off the book, The Owl Who Is Afraid of the Dark, and we are also going to be finishing off our retrieval today. Um, just a little reminder, if your phonics teacher is not here this week because they're off poorly, don't forget to watch the Ruth Miskin virtual classroom videos. These will really, really help you with your reading. Okay, so let's have a look at our first green word today. Special friend... R, and here it is on our sound chart. Fred talk s t r t l d, startled. And don't forget, when a word ends in e d, we just say the d. So once again, s t r t l d, startled. Your turn. Fantastic. And the word startled means shocked or surprised, just like this little baby is here. Okay, next green word. Special friend. Oh, here it is. O. Split O sound. Let's have a look. Oh, here it is on our chart. O. Okay, let's Fred talk. T. E. M. E. S. K. O. Telescope. 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 Your turn. Brilliant. And a telescope is something that you use, just like this little girl is, to see things that are far away. So some people use it to look at animals, like birds, for example, but other people use it to look at the stars and the planets. Okay, next green word. So, ooh, special friend, er, uh, and where is er uh over here? Ah, here it is. <gasps> if you're in my phonics group, that's the sound that we're doing. Er, uh, right, and Fred talk. S, o, p, er, s, o, p, er, supper. Your turn. Fantastic. And supper is the word for the meal that you have in the evening. Some of us call it dinner and some of us call it tea. And if you're posh, you'll call it supper. And our last green word is this one. I don't think we've got any special friends. So let's just Fred talk. R -i -s -e -n. R -i -s -e -n. Risen. Your turn. Brilliant. And risen comes from the verb, the doing word, rise, which means to go up. So if something's risen, it means it's gone up. Okay, and we've got no red words to do today, so we're going to go straight into the story. Just a little reminder, the last thing we read yesterday was Plop was asking lots of other people about what they think of the dark. So let's see who he meets and asks today. So he's just gone down from the tree to meet this man. Oh, heavens, cried the man. You startled me. Hello, said Plop. What's that you've got there? A telescope, said the man, for looking at the stars and planets at night. I don't like the dark very much, said Plop. Really, said the man, but dark is wonderful. I'll show you. The man with the telescope showed Plop lots of stars and how they made patterns in the sky. He pointed out the bright pole star, the plough, the dog star and the Orion, the great hunter. And those are all types of stars that they see in the sky. Plop said thank you and flew back to his mummy and daddy. A man with the telescope showed me the stars, Plop told them. He says dark is wonderful. That morning, Plop had his supper in bed and then, like a real night bird, he slept right through the day. When Plop woke, it was almost dark. Now, who's a day bird? He shouted at the darkness. Plop looked at his sleepy parents. He wasn't going to hang about waiting for them. He might be missing something. Plop floated down and landed like a soft white feather. Under the tree, he saw a big black cat. Hello, said the cat. I was just going exploring. Won't you come with me? I would like to, I think, said Plop, but I'm afraid of the dark. 
But dark is beautiful, said the cat. Look around you. Plop looked. The moon had risen. Everything was bathed in its white light. Moonlight is magic, said the cat. Come with me and I will show you the nighttime world of cats and owls. Will you come? Yes, I will, said Plop. The cat took Plop up to the rooftops and they looked down over the sleeping town. This is my world, said Plop. I am a night bird after all. And this is only one sort of night, said the cat. There are lots of other kinds, all beautiful. Thank you for showing me, said Plop. I must go now and tell my mummy and daddy. Good night, said the black cat, and many, many good nights. Plop threw straight back to his tree. Well, said his mummy. Plop took a deep breath. <gasps> the small boy said dark is exciting. The old lady said dark is kind. The campfire boy said dark is fun. The little girl said dark is necessary. The man with the telescope said dark is wonderful. And the black cat said dark is beautiful. Hmm. And what do you think, Plop? asked his mummy. Plop looked up at his parents with twinkling eyes. I think, he said, I think dark is super. Then Plop took off to go hunting in the dark, Mr and Mrs Barnell on each side and Plop in the middle. Plop, the night bird. And that's the end of our story. Year two, I have so loved teaching you for reading this week and I really, really love sharing this story with you. So today you're going to be carrying on using your retrieval toolkit to answer some re retrieval questions on the text that you've just read. If you need me, you can contact me on Teams because I am in your class. So you can put the little at sign, then you type in Hammond and it will come up with my name and you click on that and then you can ask me a question if you need to. Otherwise, Miss Wardle will be doing your check-ins, I think, and you can ask her anything, of course. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all soon.